Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Libra and it's for February onwards, 2024. I do hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it helps you, guides you into knowing what are important factors for you, what is coming, why certain things are taking place. Everything um, will be justified. To a certain degree, you will have information because it's a general reading about every sector of your life. So my dear Libra, welcome back. I hope you had a great vacation holiday break and i do wish you a great um, prosperous safe 2024 happy new year let me begin my dear viewers with the first message whoa okay that's four messages we need one so bear with me the truth for all libra and there it is february onwards and we have the elements the elements earth water fire and um, air are going to be protecting you not only protection powerful protection they will create amazing protection especially in the midst of um, a lot of changes that are taking place a lot of transformations there's going to be a new beginning success but most of all protection in the changes that are upcoming now my dear libra i'm going to find out from the sacred forest one message for february for you and onwards and we have power you are going to be empowered and we've got the year of the dragon 2024 the dragon itself has um presented itself here for you showing that this year is going to give you the power unlike any other years you are going to be so protected so um protected and healed healing also it's amazing healing i love that this is amazing protection and healing let's have a look at the um tree uh, tea leaves and see what are some of the messages for all libra one and we'll take this one two we take this one three and we take another one four uh for february what are important messages let's have a look let's put this away okay okay so the first thing we have is wealth beautiful wealth money is coming in big time we'll find out how but wealth is there so a lot of money is coming into your life the barrel i'll put my glasses on the barrel is about something hidden but let's see what the tea leaves say it says you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love or money or goals if it's money there's wealth coming november November is going to impact your life on a grand scale. I saw that in number 11 here also, 11. So 11, 11. The gong is about exciting, exciting news or exciting event. Some news or some event um, coming on very soon. That's beautiful. Okay. Now let's see what else you need to know. Actually, I'll take out one more. One more message from here for all Libra, the truth. And we have sexuality sexuality for some of you could be that you might be um, starting a new relationship and it's becoming very intense and it's reaching to an intimacy uh, or one way of looking at it maybe um, sexuality might be a little bit lacking in your relationship for some of you uh, that you might be meeting someone where you'll be very intimate with and some of you could be having problems with sexuality where you're not able to perhaps feel in the mood to, or or maybe your health is not allowing it it could it depends which libra which level of life this is affecting but sexuality intense passion 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 and more passion okay so that's looking all on the positive side now let's move forward to the next message we're going to take two of them and there's the second one okay so the first one it's a beautiful one this is about the it's about a victory let me just have a look glasses on yes it's about a tiny triumph that you are going to feel that you did well in there is um a victory for you I, I feel like it might be connected to someone who's born in the chinese year of the rat or the chinese year of the rooster i feel like a sense of freedom is taking place here and you can move forward in your future something wonderful you've done i feel like also i see that there could be something to do with a home a house purchase of a property and something to do with your salary wonderful but victory that's for sure now the other one is the observer okay this is very interesting a lot of changes are coming and in the midst of those changes i feel that you are going to be 
observing. And some of you maybe are so psychic to the point where you are observing the changes that are taking pl place, not only in your life, in your future, what's coming, the signs could be showing you and also observing the environment, the sky, um, you know, the, the moon, um, the moon, <laughs> the sun, the changes that are taking place around you or in our world. So you are observing and you're looking and you are comfortably uh, in your life looking, but it, there is a lot of change that's coming that is going to change your life. Um, whether you're seeing those transformations or not, prepare for them because a lot of changes are coming. Wow. We've got changes, changes in the year of the dragon itself. The dragon is about change 2024. It's all about changes. Let's have a look at two messages from this deck for all Libra. Oh, we have the victory. Now, this is exactly like the triumph we had here. Uh, but bigger, overcoming an obstacle and a great victory awaits you. That is beautiful. The chariot, major arcana, the chariot. Could be going somewhere, could be thinking of traveling, could be connected to someone that has cancer in them, star sign cancer, cancer and star sign. And we have the queen of cup. This is another cancer, um, uh, water energy, a cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Could be someone of water energy that is very helpful, very supportive. And I'm going to clarify to see how this person could be entering your life. This is somebody like a Scorpio because we've got November. It's sat right next to November. So I feel like Scorpio here very strong. Here I felt Cancer very strong because Chariot. Okay. So um, that's enough of those um, decks. Now I'm going to take out a few cards from here from this deck. I'll take about three perhaps or maybe two. No, I'll take um, one, two. We'll see. Let's have a look. The truth of Libra. I'm trying to concentrate. Okay. Wow. Not very good. The, the, the tower. The tower shows that there is something that's falling apart. Something you've been relying on. But something that isn't working anymore. Doesn't have a future anymore. It sort of stops uh, where it's at. Because there isn't much you can do. There isn't much uh, potential to grow for this situation. So it's coming to an end. Something is coming to an end. Let's have a look at your leaving. You're leaving a situation and moving towards the light, towards something better. Okay, so that's two. I might take one more. And we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords shows that you are treading carefully and procrastinating. You don't want to rush something. You know something. You, you know uh, something's falling apart and you have to move on. But you might be procrastinating so that you don't uh, hurt somebody so that you can give time uh, for a situation to sort of settle before you actually take action but ultimately you have to take this action it is distant okay you are taking time out and healing some of you are taking time out from work also uh, you know i came to sh to to do uh, to take the cards to shuffle and the towel was there again but uh, i'm not taking it out we'll see if it comes out by itself let's take out we're going to take three more Actually, I need four more. Hmm. Actually, I was supposed to take one more out of that. Actually, no, I did cut it. Yes, I'm going to take one more. Yes, action, because I need four here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, exactly. Um, the Knight of Wands, you're going somewhere. Action is being taken. Some of you are taking action and moving to the next level. Some of you are able to travel now. Some of you are supported to move forward. Wow, I love that. That's gorgeous. Okay, now. Three more uh, messages for all Libra for February onwards. Let's have a look. We have the star wishes come true, especially one wish in particular is going to be given to you. Your life is changing completely after this wish comes. It's going to give you freedom more than anything else. Like not more, freedom being one of. Uh, whatever's coming, whatever your wish is, it's going to give you freedom. Absolute freedom. Now we have the six of wands rewards fame victory reward after reward endless rewards fame recognition uh, appreciation gratitude the universe is going to give you so much so many rewards are coming your way you will be amazed and a great victory so we have two victory cards have a look at that now one of your wishes could have been to reach to a level of victory and you are i also feel like um wealth is coming and there is the gong bringing you exciting news. Some sort of exciting news is happening here. 
um, and you've got two okay bear with me I'll just hold this properly uh, you've got two uh, cards of um, victory this one here now the six of wands and the chariot what am I doing where is the other chariot hmm okay um, ah, ah there it is <laughs> the chariot I'm sorry I'm just a bit distracted there's kids uh, that are screaming on the neighbor's side so um, here we go six of wands the star wishes come true and a great victory this is very important a great victory is destined for you without a doubt and I feel like maybe wealth could be part of your wishes to be able to have enough power money to be able to move forward and I feel like a big triumph is also setting you free from something you're able to move forward you're able to take action you're able to move and this is spectacular and perhaps I feel like money could be the cause of this being able to move but a great victory awaits you even this card here is about a triumph a great amazing incredible victory is going to be yours very soon very very soon my dear libra victory to the highest level this is these are two victories together with the um the chariot victory and then you've got the greatest victory here with the six of wands your wish being granted and triumphing having a victory this is amazing absolutely okay so now we move forward to the next level and i'll put this one here two i think there's one more card we need i'll just move the barrel over there okay one more and we have the ace of swords again another victory a new beginning that brings you a lot of understanding why certain things took place and a great victory and a few epiphanies here and there so that is magnificent now uh, what you don't see coming again is the chariot have a look at that judgment and the chariot both i'm going to take them because they're very important the reason they're important is because we've got the chariot at the beginning that was the most important factor and now we've got the chariot again we have also i'll talk about judgment in a moment then we've got the triumph this is the most important factor here we've got two chariots and we've got triumphing over something big time and we have wealth this is incredible absolutely incredible another important factor here which i'd like to point out is the six of wands is about a great victory also so having the six of wands and having two chariots two victories three victories all together and with this card here triumph triumphing another victory that's four victories so whatever happens in your life no be mindful that no matter where your life is taking you there's going to be victory after victory after victory rewards after rewards after rewards a wish come true and the reason i'm saying all this whether you're leaving towards something whether something's ending in your life wishes being granted one wish in particular is going to give you freedom and happiness judgment card is about an ending that you have suffered a lot and now compensation comes rewards endless rewards and a new lease of life begins for you that's coming later but the most important one is you are empowered empowered to have the greatest victories not one but two or three three victories three major victories in your life my dear libra prepare you will celebrate you are protected you are not three actually one two three and four four victories in your life four major victories in your life prepare to be um, amazed and to be happy and um, this this is what you don't see coming and this chariot was over here also so these are what you don't see coming and then we've got wealth okay wonderful now that I've explained that well let me see what else you need to know we're gonna say two messages oh my god oh my god oh my goodness the seal seals the deal because this is the gift of money you know, remember i said endless rewards so it says business contracts documents but the most important one is the gift of money gift of money this is about you staying um being able to control everything being empowered a lot of paperwork contracts and deals and signatures but all this is bringing on celebrations extra money is coming in coming into your life um, maybe maturing investments whatever it is all about celebrations some of you are having early retirements believe it or not early retirement maybe because of this abundance that's coming so 
um, wealth, gift of money, victory, and finishing work that, um, that was sort of waiting for, you know, things that you had left behind, you're finishing them off. Um, some of you could be looking at careers in beauty, retail, and some of you are retiring, early retirement. So that is wonderful. Let's see what else you need to know. We got one. A lot of healing will be taking place for giving and healing. A lot of uh, talk is going to take place, like um, deep talks, uh, releasing. Uh, purging and letting go of the past and healing beautiful keep an open mind because your soulmate is different than what you usually expect it's coming they're coming your soulmate is coming keep an open mind as your soulmate is different than your usual type or expect what you expect usually they're different but it's your soulmate that's all that matters now let's see the message for all libra and there it is it says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only by being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So never make decisions based on guilt. Just be who you are and do what you feel is right. And that will take you to the next level. Now I'm going to start clarifying the cards, starting with the this incredible um, victory. Starting with the chariot. Let's have a look at the chariot, then I'll do the rest. Chariot for all Libra. You're becoming victory after reaching an impasse. Uh, a situation, a relationship or a situation is coming to an end. You're coming to a level, uh, reach, reaching to a level where you know there's no more you can do. All the soul searching that you will do, ultimately you will see the light, you will see the path, and you are going to have a great victory. That's the answer to this situation that you've been questioning. You are going to have rest and recuperate and take time out take stock of everything like you know going through over your mind what happened and how it happened and all your answers will be the truth is going to release you you'll have all the answers and not to mention the ace of swords is going to give you a lot of understanding and a great victory also i forgot about this victory another victory here the ace of swords wow how many victories are there for you my dear libra oh my god how many victories are there for you my god the end of a very painful chapter is going to be another great victory ending a very painful chapter of your life completely and utterly coming to an end this is going to bring you rewards and it's going to be oh my god this is going to be another part of the victory so we we're talking all about victories i'll put this here now i'm going to see um this uh, situation where it's the tower, this situation that's ending, which shows, of course, the tower is all about this situation. A situation comes to an end, absolute end. I'll, I'll question, but there's a victory. No matter what's ending, there is a great victory. Whatever is ending here, it's major. Let's have a look. Someone new is destined to come in your life. That's why this is ending in an area of your life where you're defeated. No win situation can bring peace into this the truth is releasing you because it's absolutely an end you're taking action moving forward and then right after this there is a lot of wealth a lot of money coming your way how amazing is that we've got two cards of wealth money and there was one more here yes the gift of money this is amazing so you got wealth you got the gift of money and we've got wealth wealth card and wealth twice and the gift of money on top of all the rewards that you're destined for, it's just going to be spectacular. The Six of Wands is about rewards after reward after reward for a job well done. The universe uh, awarding you um, awarding you a lot of awards and giving you a lot of rewards, um, especially after that ending, an ending that might have um, taken a lot out of you because the, six, uh, the Ten of Swords, this ending, this one here, must have been catastrophic. Why I say catastrophic, it must have stripped out of you a lot of energy. You must have lost your health, maybe not all of it, but lost a lot of energy, a lot of health by giving and sacrificing and doing. This end ending is, is a hard one. And I feel like you are going to be really compensated big time with judgment. The new lease of life that's coming. You are rising like the phoenix and you'll be given a lot of rewards. That's why there's victory after victory after victory after victory. And now we've got wealth and the gift of money. Maybe this is going to heal your aching heart, heal your situation, heal you. Maybe you've been waiting for too long to be healed. And now it's finally the time for you to heal. And I feel like the wealth, the money is going to play a big role. Not to mention 
Um, the other factor that's going to play a big role also is this new person. This person that's coming in your life. This was over here. This person, fire energy, could be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Either one. We'll see at the end. I'm going to go through all the signs and see what the star sign of um, the person that's coming or the person that you're dealing with in February, if you are meant to meet them in February. If not, you might see that in March, but we'll see who you're dealing with and consumed with and overwhelmed with in February. Now, before I move forward, let's see where you're going towards. That's very important leaving a situation and you are going to be celebrating a new beginning you're going to a new job a new life a new place a new way of life a new way of uh, looking at life but there is certainly a new beginning that brings you prosperity and a lot of celebrations remember we had celebrations here double celebration and of course with the seal there could be a gift of money in this new beginning that's bringing you this um, amount of celebrations two celebrations so we've also got the Ace of Swords, which is also about a lot of realizations and a great victory. That could be also another factor, a con um, contributing factor. And then, of course, without a doubt, we've got the victory, the chariot, twice, showing a great victory. You could be celebrating that. It could be coming at a different, and it could be coming with money. Oh, I forgot about that. Money could be another reason that you are celebrating because we've got the gift of money. We've got double celebration. And guess what? We have also the card of wealth which is the Ten of Pentacles, wealth on its, um, in its grandest form, wealth. So that could be another reason for celebration. Okay, so now that we have established that, we move on to the next level. And the next level, yes, you are ending a cycle, uh, chapter is ending, and you're going to be elevated to high levels. Some of you could be traveling, some of you could be elevated, not could be, will be elevated to levels beyond where you are with a lot of summer money, and your status is rising, you're ranking up. Now, my dear viewers, my dear Libra, let's have a look at, we'll put this one back here. We're going to look at, um, let's see who this Queen of Cups is. Now we know you're leaving and you're going to be celebrating this leaving. Let's see who the Queen of Cups is for all Libra. It says temperance, a little bit of patience and you'll understand. You might be torn between two situations or two people, two places, two people. Ultimately, there's going to be news and money coming to resolve a problem that you have and you'll finally see your path, which is what is the best course of action. You could be dealing with someone of water energy, like I said, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. A little bit of patience and you'll see everything come about for you have a look at this oh my god right after this ending right after the collapse which we had over here it shows to me that a new beginning and judgment there is judgment you see that judgment archangel gabriel a lot of healing a lot of compensation a new lease of life a new life a new lease of life that one that's going to give you abundance of happiness you see that the greatest gift of all could be the greatest um love of all meeting the one and falling in love and, you know, keep an open mind. It's your soulmate, even though they might be a little bit different, different style, different way of um, looking, different way of talking, a different way of thinking on a different level, but they are your soulmate. So that means you will thrive together in this lifetime. You will be effortlessly doing incredible together. The other fact that could be, um, I was thinking before, I forgot, there was something. Oh, yeah, the other factor was the seal. The gift of money could be another one that could be bringing you this kind of happiness because I'll put this here. Why? You could be buying your own property, paying off your home, the, the gift of money that might come. It could be like a windfall. Have a look at your money reading. But there is a great gift that could be love or the greatest gift that gives you emotional fulfillment, happiness to the highest level in many areas of your life. So this is going to be spectacular also. So you got the Ten of Wealth. And you got the 10 of happiness and dreams come true and property, buying your own home. So there's all that possible. So much is going on here. Where to start? Let's have a look at the next level. Now, we know the Queen of Cups is a situation where you might be torn and not knowing where to go, what to do. Let's clarify this Ace of Souls, this new beginning that's going to bring you a lot of understanding. Let's see what that one's all about. This card was getting stuck. No, there was two of them. Okay. It looks like it's regarding committing committing to something, commitment, and it is regarding a partnership. There is a partnership made in heaven, like I said, with the soulmate. 
There is the soulmate card where you heal together, you become strong together. It's a partnership so spectacular and you are committing to it. That's what the new is bringing you, the new chapter. It could be someone in love where you will fall in love and have a lot of passion for each other because it's your soulmate, so it's going to be spectacular. You'll have that happy ever after, right? Uh, but it also can be a business partner where you're thriving and committing to buy a business together, committing to buy a property together. But I feel like uh, a lot of understanding here, a lot of healing. Wow, look at the snake. I just saw the white snake. A lot of abundance is coming with this Ace of Swords. Uh, I hadn't seen the white snake. The white snake is about lotto, winning and winning, a windfall. So the gift of money is celebration, but also marriage, commitment to marriage to living together, to moving together, to start a family together, to start a, a life, a home together. So there's all that. It is a new lease of life with judgment. It is a beautiful new lease of life. It is absolutely a new lease of life. It is a spectacular um, lease of life that's going to give you a lot of rewards, major rewards coming your way, major. And that's why you are going to be in the... In the um, in the mood to celebrate. That's why there's so much celebrations. That's why you are overwhelmed with celebrating. You've got two celebrations here. You've got five victories, two celebrations, and so much more. And two wealth, and so much more. Okay. So, now that we've established all this, let's move forward to the next one to see the star sign combination of the person you are going to be dealing with, consumed with in February. Let's see who that person is. And how they connect with you for all Libra, the truth. Okay, so we have the first one is Sagittarius, Jupiter, the rule of Sagittarius. The second one is Pluto, Scorpio, which could be this person here, the um, Queen of, where is that Queen? Oh, here it is. This um, Queen of Cups, we were, quite, we were wondering. It's not about the gender, it's just the water energy, and we've got Scorpio. So you might be consumed or overwhelmed with Scorpio or Sagittarius or both, actually. It's the star sign combination of either one person or two people. And we have Scorpio, oh no, it's Cancer. Cancer, another water energy that you might be dealing with. And then we've got Capricorn. Saturn is the rule of Capricorn. One more. And the other one is cancer. So cancer doubles up. That tells me you are, this person is cancer that you are consumed with and dealing with on a high level. Water energy, very strong. It can be also Scorpio. And Scorpio, double cancer. Scorpio, we have Jupiter, uh, Sagittarius, and we have Earth. What a beautiful combination. This is someone really wonderful. I feel like there could be two people. One is Earth with um, fire. Uh, earth with water one is with earth with water what energy could be scorpio uh, uniting in, in both or cancer it could be cancer someone with cancer and uh, perhaps uh, earth energy capricorn uh, and you could be dealing with someone that's water a lot of water energy here very strong and um, and that's why we had the water energy here it's amazing so we're, if you're if we're dealing with um, scorpio and two cancer this shows someone very nurturing very loving uh, someone that is sort of like very understanding. It is someone very passionate. Uh, there could be a lot of sensuality, a lot of uh, intimacy. If it's a relationship, if it's a business partnership, I think it'll thrive, it'll do well, even though air and water don't go well together. But I feel like there is earth that gives you ground, uh, makes everything uh, grounded. This person could be grounded. They might have earth. If there's fire, that makes it even wonderful for both of you. There will be a lot of sexuality. That's why we've got sexuality. Because fire and air, fire and water brings warmth and brings a lot of sexuality. So there is that. Uh, but I do feel like you are going to be thriving in between two situations. You could be between two people, earth and water, fire, and uh, water with fire and earth. It could be two different people. I do feel like something is ending. And I feel like what is ending could be um, possibly water and air could be ending, water energy and air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, which isn't here, but possibly Capricorn could be ending. And I feel like fire energy is uh, the priority because Jupiter, the rule of Sagittarius, came first. And why? Because you are going to meet this person. This is a new person coming into your life. And this is fire energy. So that is uh, Jupiter, Sagittarius. Someone uh, that has fire energy in them and Sagittarius being the most one. That's why the, this came up. They might have cancer in them also because cancer came double. So you are dealing with someone that could be fire and 
uh, water. I also feel like you might be leaving behind uh, water and air. Air. I just feel air is uh, coming out of the situation. Uh, I do feel like um, something is ending that has to do with air. And air are Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, like yourself. So there could be an Aquarius or Gemini or even Libra like yourself that you might be uh, leaving behind or you might have had a long-term a situation with where it's ending it could be work related relationship related either one uh, you are leaving something that's been suffocating you and starting fresh in a in a new situation you're moving towards the new moving to a better place and i feel like fire energy is the beginning so this uh, sagittarius is going to be someone that you might be meeting this could be your um of having an open mind this could be your um the one that you are going to be like um uh, a soulmate that might be different than what you usually expect it could be this one this fire energy and this fire energy could be uh, Sagittarius so that's very important fire energy without a doubt is coming into your life you could be yourself you might be having fire energy within you but I feel like something new is igniting something wonderful and I do feel like you're in between torn between whether you should or not I do feel like Scorpio um, and Cancer both you see Pluto Scorpio did come up Pluto and don't forget you had November which is Scorpio in November. We have also November is also Capricorn. It could be a cuspy because Saturn is also the rule of Capricorn. So there could be water and earth energy together and that will unite well with you because you need the earth. You do, um, you don't mind the water because always, um, Libra goes well with Cancer. They usually end up working together, having business together, getting married together. It happens everywhere. They're both cardinal signs, so they do well. There's a lot of love and respect and connection and sensuality and passion and nurturing. They're both very nurturing and very fair and just. So that works out spectacular for you, my dear Libra. I feel like something magical is happening in this new beginning. I can't wait to see what you say. When you do meet the soulmate, let us know. Let me know in the um, Libra section. Just write something about it. Um, and I feel like there's so much victories and so much celebrations. You are going to be moving to a wonderful next level. It's going to take you to a beautiful place. I can't wait to hear your comments. Because some of you could be in the process now. It, it might have already started or you might be seeing it. Because I'm seeing you're observing everything. You're seeing changes coming. Your eyes are opened and so is your vibration. It's pretty high to be able to see what's happening. And what's happening, it's repeating in such a high degree of vibrations that you must be feeling it. You must be seeing it. And it's with this, I do wish you abundance of blessings and joy and happiness. Do give me a thumbs up, my dear viewers. Do support me in subscribing to the channel and support me by watching the videos right to the end and not stopping them in the middle. That means a lot to me. It will be the greatest support. And everything I do is free, so be aware of that. Don't let any scammers tell you otherwise. Don't let anyone sell you anything. I don't sell anything. I don't do any reading, so there's no money. Never listen to anyone that says anything. Always remember everything is free. And the only support I ask is for you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and to also see the videos till the end. That supports me big time. I wish you abundance of blessings. Namaste.